Good evening, I'm John Purvis. CBS 4 learns more about the man killed in a multi-vehicle crash in East El Paso. It happened Saturday afternoon on I-10 East near Lee Trevino. Uh, the collision involved five cars and a semi-truck. One of the crash victims later died, and today his loved ones gathered to honor his memory. CBS 4 at 530's Jacqueline Quinones is live at East El Paso after speaking with the victim's wife about how she wants her husband to be remembered. I'm standing near the area where a multi -vehicle, vehicle crash happened over the weekend, leaving one man dead, family members grieving their loved one tonight, and all they're left with is some of his prized possessions to give them some sort of comfort. The wife tells me that he was her big teddy bear. He made me feel safe. And he was he was my best friend. Ileana Carmona holding back tears as she talks about her husband, Steve Carmona, who was killed in a crash on I-10 in East El Paso. My husband was an amazing man. He used to say that he was uh, antisocial, but he was the life of the party. Carmona says Steve was well known by everyone. Everywhere he went, people knew him. People would always stop him in the streets to tell him what a great shirt he was wearing or his cap or to comment on his amazing beard. Carmona says they have been together for 22 years and married for 10. Steve leaves behind seven children and one grandchild. We are we're a close family, all of us. Carmona says these last couple months have been tough for her and her whole family. They have been dealing with a lot of loss, including Steve's mother, who passed away about a month ago. It's been hard. We lost my grandmother in January, my mother-in-law in February, and now my husband in March. Carmona hopes that he's reunited with all of them. It brings me comfort. I hope that, I hope they were waiting for him. I hope they were there to welcome him with open arms. Carmona tells me that they're planning to lay Steve to rest within the next two weeks, and she is so grateful for the outpouring support from the community. Reporting live in East El Paso, Jacqueline Quinones, CBS 4 at 530.